Israel's military has said that eight UN soldiers have left their posts on the Syrian side of the Golan Heights and entered Israel in what appears to be the latest sign of the deteriorating security situation in the area. The announcement comes just two days after rebels fighting Syrian President Bashar al-Assad abducted 21 peacekeepers stationed on the Syrian side of the Golan Heights. Rebels have demanded that Assad's forces withdraw from the area before they will agree to release the peacekeepers. The soldiers who fled to Israel reportedly belong to the same battalion as the peacekeepers who were taken by rebels. Their capture has raised concerns that the rest of the UN force, about a thousand peacekeepers who are charged with monitoring the ceasefire between Israel and Syria, could flee out of fear for their safety. The incident has also deepened worries that violence from Syria could spill into neighboring countries, including Israel. That fear has been exacerbated by the increasingly sectarian nature of the Syrian conflict. As the situation inside Syria has worsened, many rebel groups have embraced radical Islamic ideologies, and Sunni Muslim foreign fighters have entered the battle, seeing it as a holy war against a regime dominated by Alawites, an offshoot of Shiite Islam. According to a report last month by UK broadcaster Sky News, jihadists say a holy war stretching from northern Africa into the Middle East is underway, which they believe will eventually take them into Israel.